Hey guys, uh, today we're gonna take a look at Tiny11 by NT Dev, and uh, well, everybody's installing it in kind of a newer computers and all that, we are gonna try to install it on a Toshiba Satellite M505 with Intel Pentium inside, and it will have 4 gigs of RAM, SSD, PNY drive, 120 gigs, so we are gonna give it the best chances. The link to this uh, site will be in the description. I got you can get the torrent file or the ISO image and you choose. I went with a, a Tiny 11 B2, no system requirements. This one right here. And when you open directory, if you want to, you can go here and it's no system requirements right here. 3.6 gigabytes and for this one i'm going to use just a rufus and i'm going to use a 32 gigs 2.0 usb tiny 11 no system requirements uh i'm going to do mbr because this one is an older laptop and i'm not sure if it can get uh anything else and i will just go with default everything else start and uh, make this usb and the uh iso file has been successfully put in the uh usb and now we are ready to get to the computer side of the things and attempt an installation of it okay guys and this is going to be the laptop we're going to be working on now. uh today intel pentium inside was made for windows vista satellite m505 Subseries S4940. This is gonna be very interesting. Now, let me flip it the other side, and uh, here we have four gigs of RAM, two and two. I inserted one of these uh, PNY SSD drives. Here's the extender, just the SATA extender, because it didn't fit here. And uh, let me put it back in here. Let's put the battery in and uh, see where that goes. Okay, and uh, we're gonna start it up and see if we can uh, load from USB. Okay, F12. I think it's F12, yeah. Boot menu. And now we go to our USB and let's see if it loads. I'd be very surprised if it works. And we got a setup is starting. That's, that's a good, good sign. Really good sign. Wow, we're already on the setup page. Uh, you guys may not be able to see in this camera for some reason, but we are on the setup page. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the setup screen now. And this is very interesting that we have Windows 11 on uh, Intel Pentium on a Toshiba Satellite M505-S4940. And now this is our Toshiba, which if I can open it with one hand, it is the M505, which is quite old old and uh here is intel pentium it was made for uh windows vista and guess what we're launching right now yes i named it pentium and uh inside we have windows 11 just give it time to start it was a beautiful laptop actually when you look around it yep that is windows 11 ladies and gentlemen it was with a skype video calling logo right there the touch capacitive buttons which actually work still today the volume as you saw there on the screen and the flash shiny keyboard the two speakers on each side and yeah that's that's pretty much all about it and uh intel pro uh, pentium processor t4200 okay i see the screen is 14 inch 4 gigs sd ram the hard drive i changed it to 160 ssd to give it a better you know chance label flash so you can uh, write labels on your cds and aero pattern gold onyx and all that stuff that we are not gonna use and uh, right now i'm going to open obs studio and record the screen from obs or from the computer itself so you guys can see better what we're dealing with here but i just wanted to give you this shot that uh you cannot forget this kind of shot windows 11 on this computer is just something you don't see every day and now we are gonna start recording right here and we'll see you inside this computer and as you see right here we are on the desktop of this windows 11 toshiba satellite m505 rocking an intel pentium pentium <laughs> t4200 14 inch display dvd super multi drive was projected for windows vista back in the day 
And now uh, let's go to information right here and see what we're dealing with. Just so we see it in writing better than me just telling you about it. Uh, refreshing system information since it's, uh, you know, loading it. And we're inside here. As you see, Microsoft Windows 11 Pro, which is Tiny 11 called now, right? Uh, model Satellite M505 Intel Pentium Dual Core. 2 gigahertz tops. 2 cores plus 2 logical cores. This is just nothing short of a miracle that this laptop can even run this one. Install physical memory or RAM. 4 gigabytes. It's DDR2, guys. Inside this laptop, there's DDR2 RAM. Don't mistake it for any fancy DDR3, DDR4. No, 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 no. We're talking about DDR2. That uh, I remember very well that used to be quite a big deal. And yes, we have a browser here. I installed Brave Browser just because it was easier to install. Somehow, uh, Google Chrome was just taken forever and I had to cancel it. So that's why I ended up with Brave. And uh, yes, let's go to my own channel and try to play a YouTube video. Because you guys never seen my channel before, so let's see it now. <laughs> By the way, if my channel ever opens on this laptop, as you see here, that's taken forever. Please hit like and subscribe on this video. It will help tremendously. Actually, it helps more than you can think. I know to use nothing but a click of a button, but to me, it's more than a button. It's a push to make more videos. That's what it means. And here's the video. And let me put the microphone closer so you can uh, so you can hear me on a video as if you don't hear me from here. And uh, it's playing on, uh, I don't know the settings here. 70, 720p. Oh, that's going to be a little bit rocky for this one, but... Okay, let me open the video a little bit bigger so we can see if it even plays it a little bit bigger. Uh, I highly doubt it, but we put the volume up. Okay, volume is 100. And let's wait for the video to load. If it ever loads... No, definitely it's not going to play... Uh, 1080p i know that that is not gonna happen so let me lower it to something maybe 480 or something okay, more consumable for this laptop is that at this laptop's time okay, by the way just to remind you this was never projected to have windows 11 running on it or 1080p videos those were just not things that uh, this laptop was made for so let me play now and it's actually playing pretty okay Work with your PC or and Other yes, notes. you heard enough of me. Perfect. I don't want to play any more of that sound before I give myself a copyright strike or something. <laughs> Just imagine, huh? That would be that would be hilarious. Let me see if it plays it on full screen. I uh, I doubt it, but I'm gonna try. Oh, it actually works. This is very interesting, but on the 480. Because if I put it on 720, you'll see this lap laptop start tweaking really bad. It just doesn't want to do it in uh, 720 or 1080. 720, as you see, it has kind of glitches going in and out, and it's not gonna work. So let me put the uh, let me put it 1080. Let's go full force and see if it can handle it. I really don't want to put this laptop down completely because I really want to keep it and save it because it's a good laptop. At least nice laptop, not good by any means or standards because you can't play on it. You can do a lot of things that, you know, are normal for other laptops. But uh, look, on 1080p, it almost plays actually. Almost works. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna make it suffer anymore. This is, this was enough. I, I don't want it to go beyond. And uh, yeah, I think uh, this kind of concludes this video. This is very interesting that a Pentium processor powered laptop somehow has windows 11 on it yes it's called tiny 11 and the uh, link will be in the description as i said to go download and you can check it out for yourself you can install it on a older laptop like i'm doing and t test it or you can try it on the uh, newer ones you can buy for 100 something bucks at walmart or any of these stores or you can just have a laptop laid around that's not old but not new either and you want to test windows 11 on it just before i go let me tell you one thing when you uh get the drive ready the internal drive of the laptop or any machine that you're preparing to install this windows into for older laptops don't even bother uh formatting that uh drive on the grand partition scheme 
or GPT. That's not gonna work on GPT. So you'll have to format it on MBR. MBR is gonna be your friend on this one. And when you use Rufus, it gives you MBR and GPT options. Select MBR for the old, old laptops like this one, or go with GPT if it's a newer laptop. And with that said, I hope you learned something and I hope you liked this video. Hit like and subscribe. I thank you for that. Bye.